Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Toddy Walnuts coming back at you with another update video. And I do have a couple shout outs for this video. And I have a special gift from a good friend of mine. Uh, I'm gonna get into that in a second. But I just wanna say that today, as I'm recording, it is Friday, April 6th, which means one week from today will be Friday the 13th. So we, will, we should try to figure out something cool to do for that day make a video if you guys have any ideas leave a comment down below if you guys want to collaborate on something maybe do like a top 10 Friday the 13th list of movies or something like that just leave a comment down below any ideas um, I don't have a whole lot to show today um, I've been kind of picky and choosy with some of the titles I've been picking up I've been putting a lot of money into restoring my basement and putting a couple rooms down there and last weekend I I was downstairs working for about 20 hours on my weekend so uh, it's all worth it though because it's uh, part of the homestead and any little bit of work that I do to the house uh, is an improvement so uh, you guys don't want to hear about that let's get into the pickups and we'll first start with the gift that I got from a good friend of mine and uh, this is from Jordan who has given up 96 and Jordan and I do little gift packages throughout the year. We've been doing it for a couple years now. And I recently sent him a gift. And I'll leave the link down below if you guys want to go check out Jordan's channel. And you can see the gift that I sent to him. And I encourage you to go subscribe to his channel. He's a great guy, a very good friend of mine. Uh, really knowledgeable on films. Uh, just an all-around great guy, really good collector and he always has some really cool stuff to show on his channel so I know he's been working a lot lately so he hasn't been uploading as much but you can still check out some of his archived videos and just keep up to date with his uh, his newest videos so he did leave me a note he sent this directly from Amazon and we'll, we'll read the note together here it says hi Todd thanks for always being an amazing friend enjoy the movies and thanks for all the support and friendship, your brother Jordan, given up 96. And that's how you spell his channel there. And please go check him out. I will leave a link down below. So thank you, Jordan, very much. And I appreciate your friendship as well. So Jordan sent to me Dario Argento's opera, which was released by Scorpion. And this is a nice little giallo film. And this one has a brand new 2016 2K scan with over 45 hours of extensive color correction. Also has an interview with Dario Argento. Also has a brand new interview with star William McNamara. And it has a brand new 5.1 surround sound soundtrack. Also comes with the original trailer. This is unrated and it is region A. So very, very cool to have opera. So thank you for that, Jordan. Now, the next one that came is The Strangers, and this was actually kind of a mix-up from Amazon. They sent the wrong edition, which I didn't mind. I was happy to get the movie anyway, and I sent Jordan a picture of the movies and said thank you, and he said, wait a minute, that's not the right edition. Let me handle it, and Jordan called Amazon and took care of business, and within a day, they sent this bad fella here this is the scream factory edition of the strangers and this is the 10th anniversary collector's edition of the modern classic thriller I'm looking forward to checking out the new one that just recently came out this one has an all-new transfer with interviews and much more it comes with the beautiful slipcover you do get some special features uh, it's a two disc edition and the first disc is the theatrical version of the film and it is the 2K master of the film uh, with a digital intermediate. Um, it also has the element of terror, interviews with cast and crew, deleted scenes, TV spots, and a trailer. 
and disc two, it's a two Blu-ray set by the way, and disc two is a unrated version of the film with the new master of the unrated cut taken from the 2K digital intermediate with HD inserts. It has new interviews with the writer-director Brian Bertino and actors Kip Weeks and Laura Margolis. It also has a still gallery. And uh, I, I very much enjoy this film. I think it's a great movie. And it's a very good modern horror film, and I'm glad to have this in my collection. So thank you very much for that, Jordan. And thank you for taking care of business. Um, Amazon said I could keep this one. So if anybody would like this edition, um, this also does have the theatrical and unrated edition. I'm not sure what the difference is in the scans of the film. So, um, yeah, I can't really speak on quality. I haven't, I haven't popped into these yet. But if anybody would like this edition, comment down below and I'll figure out a way to get this to you. And uh, so those were the gifts that Jordan sent to me. So excellent uh, on you, Jordan. Thank you very much. Another shout out I would like to give is to my boy Tampa J, who has one of my favorite channels on YouTube. A very great guy, very, very nice guy. And he's one of my biggest supporters. And I think he's a lot of YouTubers support, one of their best supporters, because I, I see that he really does like to uh, leave positive comments, thumbs up. Um, I see him on a lot of different videos, and, and he's just a really good influence in the YouTube community. And um, I, I strongly recommend you go check his channel out. He has kind of like a, it's like a miscellaneous type channel, but he does a lot of uh, kind of like travel videos where he'll go to sideshow attraction type things, festivals. He shows beautiful sunsets. He lives in, obviously, he lives in Florida. He's Tampa J from the Tampa Bay area. And uh, he shows some he does a lot of live streaming on, on uh, YouTube, so you'll see out and about videos where he's out driving or he's out, you know, walking along the beach in his area. He, he, like I said, he shows some beautiful sunsets. It's really nice because as I'm recording this on April 6th in Wisconsin, we're expected to get more snow on Sunday, believe it or not. Everybody else around the country is probably in the 70s and 80 degrees. Here in Wisconsin, we're still 20s and 30s going to get snow on Sunday. And I just got to ask, Jay, um, I know maybe you're breaking my balls here because I'm Italian, but fragile handle with care must be Italian. That's pretty funny, man. You got to explain what that means. But uh, excellent guy. Uh, one of my best buddies here on YouTube. And I couldn't say enough good things about Jay. And I strongly recommend you check out his channel. And uh, he's another movie fan as well. So he kind of does a little bit of everything. He loves horror movies. Um, I know he's a fan of Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, he loves sports and all that stuff. So he, you, you never know what you're going to find on his channel. So please go check out Tampa J. I'm going to leave his link down below. Strongly encourage you guys to check him out for sure. I want to give a, another shout out. This will be the last shout out in this video. Actually, I got one more, but it's going to be later. Uh, LSJ Shez, who is a, a friend of mine from the UK. And... We also recently connected on Facebook. He asked me if I can pick him up a copy of The House That Vanished and The Eerie Midnight Horror Show. So Lee, if you're watching, I did manage to score you one. And uh, as you guys know, this is out of print now. So I picked it up from the website before it went out of print. And this is from the Dark Force, spine number three. And they pulled it from their lineup I guess because this is not the fully uncut edition of the film and I would not be surprised if they have something up their sleeve and they might re-release this as a uncut edition of the film but as of now they pulled this one off the shelf and Lee this one is yours sir so Lee and I are planning to do a tra trade package and I scored that one for him now we're going to work something else out so we're going to try to get like three or four titles a piece before we ship out a parcel so uh, let's see, what's the next thing you guys want to see? I got a Blu-ray VHS combo of Bone Hill Road, which is the new horror film from director Todd Sheets, and this was part of a crowdfunding project that he had. And this 
project has been going on for I think a little bit over a year and I finally got this last weekend I can't wait to check it out uh, we'll check out the blu-ray first and you can see it's all inked up there it's all signed up L Linnea Quigley's in the film I can't really make out all of the signatures but hers is very easy to read um, obviously it's a werewolf horror movie and Todd Sheets makes very good films. I'm a big fan of his, and a, as well as a friend of his. We've connected over the last couple years on Facebook, so I was happy to support him. And this is the second time I supported a project of his. But this is a Blu-ray DVD combo. Haven't popped it in yet, but I, I've been very, very busy over the last couple weeks, so I haven't really watched much of anything lately. So uh, that is the Blu-ray DVD combo of Bone Hill Road. Here is the VHS, which is also inked up there, all signed up by cast and crew. And I like the kind of the throwback style of the fake stickers and labels that are on these rental type uh, VHS tapes there. You can see that they want to make it look vintage and it's pretty cool. I love this kind of stuff. So there's the tape. I'm sure I'll love the movie because I do love Todd Sheets films. So if you guys have not had a chance to check out Bone Hill Road, uh, seek it out. And if you can't find it anywhere, get a hold of Todd Sheets on Facebook and he'll get it to you. Uh, the next film I picked up is the Steelbook of Star Wars The Last Jedi. And I picked this one up because I do have all the other Star Wars films on Steelbook, so I wanted to kind of keep that little tradition alive. And I have, you guys are going to probably laugh at me, but I've only ever seen the first three, the original three trilogy in the Star Wars franchise, that being Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back, and Return of the Jedi. And I actually did pop in the, what would be part four, I guess, or I'm not even sure how they rearranged the franchise. Um, I do like the Star Wars movies, but I haven't gotten into the new ones yet. I was not really impressed with, um, I forgot what even the title was of the fourth movie, but it was uh, with the very young Anakin Skywalker, and I'm sure you guys, you Star Wars nerds out there are screaming at your screen right now, giving me the answer, but um, eventually at some point I will watch the entire franchise. I just I felt several years behind on that, so if you guys have seen this one without giving any spoilers, let me know what you thought of it and where would you rank it with the other films in the Star Wars franchise. Another one I picked up recently was another one from, uh, uh, what was it called? What's the name of that company again? I'm drawing a blank. It's the Dark... Uh, Sorry about that, guys. It's uh, Dark Force. I want to say Dark Sky, but I know it's not Dark Sky. But this was a Code Red title I picked up. Um, I think this one's going out of print soon. It was uh, limited to 1,000. I do own it already, so I picked up a second copy. Um, and it was very cheap on the Dark Force website. I think it was about 15 bucks. So I just picked this one up. It's called Savage Attraction, the true story of a 16-year-old girl looking for excitement and the men who turned her innocence into something savage. Um, sounds like a sleazy film, but I just picked this one up to flip it down the road or trade it. And uh, I know these Code Red titles, when they go out of print, they're uh, a little pricey. So I just kind of picked this one up for a rainy day. I also picked up secondhand the Suspiria Steelbook. This is the 40th anniversary edition from Synapse Films with a 4K restoration. Um, this one was is used and it's a little bit beat up. I already do own this one with the um, the High Def Ninja slip box edition, which was uh, pretty rare and I kept that one sealed. Uh, the reason I picked this one up is because I wanted the Synapse slip cover and this one actually was only 20 bucks because it has a couple scratches and it's pretty beat up. And I knew all that before I was picking this up. And like I say, I just wanted the slip cover. And this one doesn't have any discs inside except for the soundtrack, which is fine with me. So getting the slip cover and the soundtrack 
was worth 20 bucks to me so that's what I did I pulled the trigger on it and eventually I will get the Amaray case edition from Synapse the two disc edition and um, that will be my viewing copy because I'm obviously I don't have discs in this one and the other one's going to remain sealed but I have Suspiria so many different times on different editions I just wanted to get the slipcover basically so uh, there was another guy on eBay selling just the slipcover alone with no steelbook and no soundtrack for 25 bucks so I, I thought I was getting a good deal on this and um, this was limited to only 6,000 units with the slipcover so it is pretty rare not extremely rare 6,000 is not that rare but um, I just wanted to grab that so uh, the next one is going to be another shout out to a fellow youtuber named Eric Bauer and recently um, well maybe about a month ago I would say by now he had a contest and I entered I did not win but uh, another fellow youtuber named Andrew Ballina was the winner and he forfeited his prize because Andrew a lot of you guys already know Andrew he's OG he's been on YouTube for many many years Andrew's part of the YouTube generation when uh, not to say that the movie community now is not as good but back I would say back like about five six seven years ago YouTube was really really good I mean there was a lot of people a lot of really good youtubers and I think over the last five or six years it's become a little bit watered down and I don't mean any disrespect to anybody out there but uh, Andrew was one of the OGs and anyway he forfeited the prize because he didn't expect Eric to ship this to Australia so he forfeited the prize and mentioned that I could have it which was very cool so Andrew I don't I don't even know if you watch my videos but if you are if you do watch my videos much love to you and much thanks I appreciate that and thank you to Eric too for um, having the contest and for sending these to me I really appreciate that and that is stage fright and this is the VHS tape and he sent me I think this was kind of like a homemade uh, cassette tape soundtrack for Codename the Soldier and I think Eric told me that somebody is going to be releasing this on Blu-ray it might be Kino but don't quote me on that but um, that's very cool so I love to have these this retro type physical media so I'm really really happy to have this and again Andrew Ballina if you're watching thank you for allowing me to have this set I really appreciate that and Eric thanks again for that so I have a couple of titles from Arrow Video that we'll show next. And this is called Der Todes King or The Death King. Jörg Butgerait film. And this is the three disc director's approved limited edition. It comes with a Blu-ray DVD and the CD soundtrack as well as a limited edition 60 page hardcover book. This is the Region B and Region 2 for DVD. It is in German language with English subtitles. Um, I'm not really that big of a fan of Bootgerite or his films. Um, I just picked this up for the collector's purpose. But basically what this film is about, I think this came out in 1990. And it's kind of like an anthology. It's a very short film. It's 75 minutes and it's an anthology there's seven short films or seven segments i should say of different suicides there's a different suicide a day for a week which is not really my my kind of thing it that you know that's more like of um kind of depressing and i just i'm not really into that kind of film but uh, this is a really cool looking edition and it's going to remain sealed and I think this will probably sell out pretty quick, just like the Necromantics sold out very quick. But this one does have quite a few of uh, special features. You get some audio commentary. Um, you get a skeleton under the skin. Kind of a making of and some documentaries. Uh, you get uh, Eating the Corpse, which is footage from the 1990 Berlin premiere of this film. You get The Letter, which is an alternate English language chain letter insert. 
used for the UK VHS release um, and a lot of other different little segments and um, you get two short films that are also in German and you get an extensive image gallery and I can only imagine what kind of image galleries it would be in a film like this but that is uh, Der Todes King, The Death King. And the second and last Arrow video edition that I got over the past couple weeks is uh, Tesseri's A Pistol for Ringo and The Return of Ringo. It's a twin billing of the Ringo films. And I'm really much looking forward to this because um, it's not often that they really give these uh, spaghetti westerns special editions like this with nice transfers and this one comes with the new 2K restoration on both films. Um, high definition Blu-ray presentation. You, get, you can watch it in original Italian or you can watch it with an English soundtrack. You get newly translated subtitles. Uh, you can watch it with, um, yeah you can watch it with subtitles. There's uh, English soundtrack. You get commentaries for both of the films. Uh, there's an archival featurette starring Giuliano Gemma, Western Greek Tragedy, the archival featurette with Lorella De Luca, uh, Revisiting Ringo, a, a new interview, and um, just a ton of stuff that Arrow always puts into their films. Uh, the running times are 102 minutes and 97 minutes, and these are the unrated editions. This is Region A. I believe it was released as a Region A and a Region B and for some reason this was a little bit delayed coming to the US. I ordered this from Amazon at first. I had a pre-order and then one of my friends told me that um, it was supposed to be released like two or three weeks earlier than my Amazon date so I canceled that, ordered it through Diabolic and it was still delayed anyway. So I'm not exactly sure why this was delayed but I got it now so very happy with that. The next one I picked up is Another Suave film, this is called The Sect. This one is a Scorpion release, and I think this may have sold out already. And Scorpion kind of toyed around with the idea of putting slipcovers on, on some of their editions, and I think they only did it for a couple. And this is the first release that they had numbers on their uh, slipcovers. I heard from the owner of Scorpion, Walt Olson, that they're not gonna do it anymore. I think they may have it on one or two more editions and after that they're going to cancel it. And the reason being was people were complaining that their slipcovers were damaged and they don't have a way to replicate the numbers to send them back with a, a fresh cover, so to speak. So rather than you know deal with the frustration of angry customers or unsatisfied customers, they're just going to go back to not having numbers at all. So uh, this is a two disc set. And the first one has an Italian trailer, has a 15 minute piece on Dario Argento called Blood Brothers. Um, there's a 20 minute piece on the director called Of Alchemy and Esotericism. Um, has an interview with Thomas Arana, that's 29 minutes. And it also has audio commentary with author, historian Troy Haworth. Disc 2, I'm not going to go through all of the special features, but if you guys want to pause that and read, Disc 2 has a bunch of special features. And uh, this is 117 minute running time. It is in Italian, just so you guys know, with English subtitles. Oh, actually you can watch it in Italian with English subtitles or in English, so that's I misread that, sorry about that. Uh, the film is from 1991 and this is Region A. So that is the sect. I picked up a couple of Twilight Time movies in their latest sale a couple weeks ago. These these were 15 bucks a piece. I picked up the Pirates of Blood River. This is one that I have wanted for a while. It was not on sale until now. This is the first time they dropped it to 15, so I snatched it. The film is from 1962. It is 87 minutes. And it says here at the top, 
Hammer goes quasi-historical with the Pirates of Blood River with Kerwin Matthews starring as a Huguenot outcast taken up by a bloody band of pirates led by the elegant Frenchman, Captain LaRoche, um, incarnated by the great Christopher Lee, Oliver Reed, Glenn Corbett, Michael Ripper, and Peter Arne, co-star. Other Hammer regulars include director John Gilling and cinematographer Arthur Grant. So I thought it was a good time for me to grab this one at 15. I'm not sure how much stock they have left, but if you guys are interested, go check out Twilight Time website or screenarchives.com. And I picked up a Charles Bronson film. This is the first time it was on sale. Usually the Bronson films sell out right away, and I'm sure now that it's dropped down to 15 bucks, it may be sold out now. This is the Valachi Papers. And as always, these Twilight Time releases are limited to 3,000. Once they're gone, they're gone. They don't reprint these. This is a film from 1972. It is 125 minutes running time. Of course, it's in English, and there are English subtitles. And this is a nice little uh, mafia-style film. It says, Hard-hitting, violence-ridden, documented melodrama of the underworld covering more than three decades. So that is Charles Bronson in the Valachi Papers. Um, I guess I forgot to show when I was showing Bone Hill Road couple things I forgot to show you guys. Here is a poster that was also inked up. I'm going to find a frame for this and put this up somewhere. That's very cool. I also got part of the signed script from the film that is signed by probably just about everybody that had part in the film as far as uh, cast and crew. And this one was from scene five, Emily's car at night. And this one is from, it doesn't say, I, I'm not sure if this is just, oh, it's just a continuation, I think. This is part one, or page one of Emily's Car at Night, and this is page two. So I thought that was pretty cool. So I'm going to put this in a special place. I don't know if I'll get these framed or, or what, but uh, I like this kind of little swag like that. So I was glad to get those from Todd Sheets. I also picked up a couple titles from 88 Films. I got Alice, Sweet Alice, which I think is sold out now. This is from the Slasher Classics Collection. I have the DVD of this, but I was so glad to pick it up on Blu-ray. The film is from 1976, and this is number 35 on the spine. Very young Brooke Shields is in this one. It is all region, so that's excellent. Actually, you know what? Let's let me crack into this one here. See if I can open this one up on camera. I know you guys like it when I do the one-handed unboxing. So there you go. Smooth as butter. So let's take a look at the inside and see if it comes with any inserts. And it does. It has like a little, I think like a little two-page leaflet here. And it's just, it just shows the titles, I guess, from 1 to 36. So that's pretty cool. I don't remember ever getting one of those in a release before. So there is the reversible cover and the alternate title, Holy Terror, which looks really cool. I like them both, actually. I think I'm going to keep it the way it is because I like that title, Alice, Sweet Alice. So that's number 35. And then number 36, it did not come with the slipcover. At least mine didn't. I'm not sure if, if other ones did, but this is number 36. The film is from 1989. And Code Red also recently released this one, which I also do own. And this one comes with a brand new 2K restoration. 
uncompressed dual mono audio trailer, optional English subtitles, audio commentary by the Slasher Loving Podcast. That's a new one to me. Also, the Hysteria Continues and a reversible sleeve. This is Region B. So they must, obviously they didn't have permission to release it here in the States since Code Red released it. Therefore, that's why it's Region B and not all region. All right. So here's another, the same type of little leaflet with uh, the previous releases. And there is the original cover. It's actually, it's the same cover. It just doesn't have that little ratings logo down at the bottom. That is the ratings logo for the UK. It says 18. This one here does not have it. So if you don't like those eyesore of uh, ratings logos, you can flip it and I will. I'll just do that off camera so I don't waste any more of you guys' time. Because I do have three more things to show and then I'm going to kind of pan around my room and show you guys some posters that I recently picked up and framed. And then we're going to wrap the video up. The next one here is called The Boneyard with Phyllis Diller. I don't think they needed much makeup for Phyllis Diller. She was already kind of a spooky lady. And this one is going to be a little bit tricky to open with one hand. I may have to snatch my scissors. Let's see. Yep, this one's a little bit embarrassing, guys, um, but I'm not going to give up. Here we go. I know that probably drives some of you guys nuts, and you wonder why I don't open these on camera or off camera before I start recording, and that's because I just kind of do everything off the cuff. All of these are just one takes, and I just sit down with my movies and show you guys. I don't uh, rehearse anything, obviously. I make a lot of mistakes, but that's just how I do it. There's the reversible cover with the original cover. That's the one I remember from VHS and DVD days. I think both of those are, have been released in the U.S. It may even have a Blu-ray release in the U.S. I'm not exactly sure. I didn't do any research on that one. I seem to remember, though, that this does have a Blu-ray release. I just don't remember which company had put that out in the U.S. So this one is the special edition, which includes a new HD restoration. Uh, you get audio commentary with director James Cummins and producer Richard F. Brophy. Interview with actress Phyllis Diller and more. And um, the film came out in 1991 and it is 93 minutes widescreen region B. So that was it for the movies. I did pick up some vinyl but these were both secondhand and I did not pay very much for either of these there were 20 or less for these and this first one is The Exorcist film directed by William Friedkin and this says uh, music excerpts from The Exorcist and uh, for side A you get four tracks and side B you get six tracks and this is from the classic horror film from 1974. I'll pull it out and let you guys check it out. I thought I got a really good deal on this one. This was a, a more recent release too from Waxwork. I think this was released in 2017. And I ended up picking this one up shipped for 20 bucks. And it came in like brand new condition. And this was called Smoky Blue I think was the it's like a translucent blue and it's supposed to kind of simulate smoke that that grayish or blackish swirl in the middle is supposed to look like smoke and then there you have the the menacing look there so I'm glad to have that in the collection I think that's that is a must own for any horror fan everybody likes the exorcist and then I also picked up 
Dark Man, and this was sold as like new, and when I received it in the mail, it was completely sealed. So this is the 180 gram colored vinyl. It also comes with an 11 by 11 insert poster of the film. And this is original music composed by Danny Elfman. And you can see there that it does have quite a few tracks. If you guys want to pause and read those, I guess. The film is from 1990, but this one was released by Waxwork again, 2017. I don't think there's a company out there that can touch Waxwork. They're kind of like the arrow of vinyl. Waxwork is such a great company. I also pre-ordered Tenebrae from Waxwork. If you guys are interested in grabbing that one, it's the first time that's ever been released on vinyl. Waxwork was taking pre-orders. I'm not sure if it's sold out. I pre-ordered it a couple weeks ago and I think it'll be shipping mid to late April. So I'm looking forward to grabbing that one. And this is, I mean, look what, look at the detail and uh, art that Waxwork puts into their releases. Here's the 11 by 11 uh, art print, they're calling that. That's really cool. And I'm not sure what color vinyl I got. And I was really surprised when this came as new because the guy, um, this, usually if the sellers on eBay, if anything, uh, you know, they, they kind of oversell their product and they'll say it's like new and then you get it and it's not like new at all. It's worse than that. But for a change, I got a, a better deal. And this is kind of fighting me here. <laughs> Oh God, sorry about this guys. They can't always go smooth, but um, here's the 180 gram vinyl and it's kind of an, an orange translucent swirl. So yeah, that's, that's that. I'll take care of that off camera. But I think I've got that one for about 22 bucks. And usually waxwork uh, vinyl are like 30, 35, sometimes they're like 42 when they're shipped. So I feel like I got a really good deal on that. So let me show you guys some of the posters I recently picked up to kind of go with my Day of the Dead, which I owned already. That's an original, that's a real original poster. These two are reprints, but I got Night of the Living Dead. Let's see if I can get that glare off of there. These are 27 by 40, which are theatrical size posters. So that's Night of the Living Dead. And then I got Dawn. These are very high quality reprints. These are not original, but that Day of the Dead is original. And it's signed by George A. Romero. So I wanted to get those three together to have the three original Dead movies. I also picked up this poster of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That is not the original theatrical poster, but I love that image of Leatherface. Who will survive and what will be left of them? And I got, this is my favorite horror movie poster of all time. I love this, the uh, silhouette of the killer. If you guys saw part one, you know who it is. It's not Jason, but it's Pam Voorhees. And in her silhouette, you can see the campers and the campground and the woods. And I, this, let me see if I can turn this light off here. Looks a lot better that way, I think, I hope. So that is that. And then to show you guys a couple of the additions that I have on my Scream Factory wall over here, I have my Demons poster framed. Hold on a second, I gotta move something out of the way. This was a Demons poster by artist Donald England and this was limited to 50 and I got number 18 and then I also got behind the mask framed that was the most recent Scream Factory that I picked up and that goes up along my wall with these other ones that I did show at a different time but I'll just kind of pan across and show you guys again So that was it. I hope you guys have a great weekend.
Um, if you guys want to do like a collaboration for a Friday the 13th project for next week, let me know. Leave a comment down below. There's Miss Heidi. Flash is right in her face. <laughs> so, um, Other than that, uh, we're already at 40 minutes. I was going to kind of do a quick recap. Um, yeah, so if you guys want to do uh, a collaboration or something, just hit me up or just if you have any comments, I will get back to anybody who leaves a comment. So, all right, guys, take care. Have a nice weekend, and I will catch you in the next video. Later.